The Lockheed F-94 Starfire was a first-generation jet-powered all-weather, day, night interceptor of the United States Air Force. It reached operational service in May 1950 with Air Defense Command, replacing the piston-engined North American F-82 twin Mustang in the all-weather interceptor role. The last aircraft left active duty service in 1958 and Air National Guard service in 1959. These aircraft were then passed along to Air National Guard units where they served until the end of the 1950s. This version of the aircraft was extensively used within the semi-automatic ground environment air defense system. The primary users of the F-94 were the squadrons of Air Defense Command, eventually equipping 26 squadrons of interceptors. Once the 317th was equipped in the Pacific Northwest, ADC then re-equipped its 52D Fighter All-Weather Group at McGuire AFB, New Jersey which also flew F-82Fs and provided air defense of the northeastern United States. It was during this period that Air Defense Command began dispersing its fighter interceptor squadrons away from their parent groups to individual bases. In March 1951, upgraded F-94Bs were received from Lockheed by the 33D Fighter Wing at Otis AFB, Massachusetts, replacing their F-86A Sabres, although the last squadron of the wing didn't replace its Sabres until May 1952. Three Federalized Air National Guard units, the 121st FIS, 142nd FIS, and 148th FIS, received F-94Bs while they served on active duty during the Korean War call-up to defend the airspace over Washington, D.C. However, these F-94s were retained by the USAF when these ANG squadrons returned to state control in 1952. Five more squadrons were equipped in FY-54-55 which ended the production run for the interceptor by Lockheed. In the Pacific, Far East Air Force equipped three squadrons with F-94Bs, and Air Defense Command deployed the 319th Fighter Interceptor Squadron to South Korea to provide a jet air defense umbrella over the Seoul area. The first shipment of F-94Bs arrived in Japan in March 1951, being assigned to the 339th Fighter All-Weather Squadron at Johnson Air Base. In May, F-94Bs began to re-equip the 68th FAWS at Itazuk Air Base, while rotating pilots and radar operators to Suwon Air Base in South Korea where they flew combat missions over North Korea with the F-82 Giga Seconds as well as air defense alert over Seoul. Training for the squadrons proceeded through the summer and in August, the first 5th Air Force operational readiness test was held by the 339th FAWS with the F-94. In January 1952, ADC was ordered to deploy the 319th Fighter Interceptor Squadron from the 25th Air Division at Larsen AFB, Washington to Japan, and to relieve the 68th FIS at Itazuk. The detachment of the ADC squadron was sent to Misawa AB to fly air defense missions over northern Honshu and Hokkaido against any intruding Soviet aircraft from Sakhalin Island or the Vladivostok area. A B-26 pilot observed an explosion in the air between the island of taeyong du and the city of Haiju in North Korea. In March 1952 the 319th FIS began flying operational missions at Suwon, providing combat air patrols for B-29 Superfortress missions at night. After the armistice in Korea in June 1953, the F-94s continued to fly air defense missions over Japan and South Korea. By the end of 1954, the Starfires had been returned to the United States for Air National Guard duty. Immediately after World War II ended, most of the 11th Air Force in Alaska was withdrawn, and its assets were concentrated at two bases, LAD AFB near Fairbanks and Elmendorf AFB near Anchorage. With the advent of the Soviet Tu-4 and its possessing the atomic bomb, U.S. air defense assets were sent to Alaska to guard against a Soviet attack on the United States coming from Siberia. Chains of ground control radar sites were established under Alaskan Air Command, the post-war successor to 11th Air Force, and P-61 Black Widows were sent in 1948 as long-distance interceptor aircraft. Extreme cold weather training for Air Force personnel assigned to LAD AFB was mandatory in the event of an emergency ejection or even just being outside in the winter, losing a glove, and dropping a wrench or tool. Alaska was divided into two areas, the northern part under the 11th Air Division, headquartered at LAD AFB, and had control of the GCI sites in the northern half of the territory. In April 1953, the 57th FIG was inactivated and the three squadrons F-94s at Elmendorf AFB became part of the 10th Air Division. The F-82Hs at LAD were retired in the summer of 1953 when due to lack of logistics support, the aircraft became too unreliable to keep in the air. 
The 449th flew the F-94A until F-94Bs became available as hand-me-downs from Elmendorf AFB The 57th FIG was inactivated replaced by the 10th Air Division. The 449th at LAD sent their F-94 as back to the CONUS and Air National Guard Service. By the end of 1954, it also was being re-equipped with F-86Ds, with the last of the Starfires also being sent to the Air National Guard. Northeast Air Command was a command formed in 1950 to administer U.S. controlled bases in the maritime provinces of Canada, that were under long-term lease going back to World War II. It was responsible for the defense of the northern approaches to North America and also to support transient aircraft of MATS and SAC, all of which came under the collective command and control of the 64th Air Division. In 1952, F-94Bs were sent to the 59th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at Goose AFB, Labrador from Otis AFB, Massachusetts, also a detachment of the 59th was sent to Thule AB, Greenland to provide air defense of the base, although it was still under construction to back up the Dewline. Kaflavik Airport, Iceland, although controlled by Military Air Transport Service, received F-94Bs as part of the 82D Fighter Interceptor Squadron in April 1953 it provided air defense of Iceland until being relieved in October 1954 when it was reassigned to Presque Isle AFB, Maine. They were sent to Air National Guard units where they replaced North American F-80C Shooting Stars and F-51D, H Mustangs, which in most cases marked the end of the line for the venerable Mustang in United States military service. Also in the late 1950s, F-94Cs were passed along to the Air National Guard, supplementing the F-94A, B models. Eventually 22 Netherlands Antillian Gilders Fighter Interceptor Squadrons were equipped with the Starfire Interceptor. The last F-94C was retired by the Active Duty Air Force in November 1957 when the 319th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at Bunker Hill Air Force Base, Indiana converted to the F-89J Scorpion Interceptor. Formerly used as a gate guard at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, currently in storage on Edwards AFB awaiting restoration and future display. It was previously on display at the New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks, Connecticut and moved to Evergreen in 2010.